And next, one of the absolutely most pleasurable uh, things that's come down the pike uh, in a while is the uh, opportunity <clears throat> for uh, Mr. Nick Deal to uh, be uh, employed as the new director of the uh, <coughs> Jefferson County Development uh, Authority. Um, and uh, as I mentioned last week uh, when we approved uh, his employment, uh, this is probably going to be one of the most seamless transitions from one person to another uh, in any organization's uh, history. When the selection committee interviewed Mr. Deal uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I personally was so impressed that uh, we asked the question, well, what's your vision for economic development in the uh, future? And I was so impressed with uh, Mr. Deal's uh, uh, response, right? I, right uh, this is not something that he made up while he was going along. Obviously, there was some thought given to it. But I was so uh, uh, impressed with, uh, with his response that I thought, even though uh, Commissioner Nolan, myself, and Commissioner Tabb uh, already know who Mr. Deal is and are familiar with him, except for myself, none of us really heard uh, him put uh, his finger on uh, where he would like to uh, uh, take uh, development in Jefferson County. And as a result, Jefferson County. And so I thought it'd be a great idea if uh, we had you, Nick, and the floor is yours. Thank you very much, sir. So um, I, I'll give a very quick background of kind of who I am, because I know I, yeah. um, I'm, I'm a West Virginian by birth and, and now West Virginian by choice. I've lived in and out of state and I've been back home for many years. It's a, uh, I'm from Southern West Virginia. I've been up here, gosh, I guess about 14 uh, I've worked in Jefferson County for, for over a decade, kind of on and off with my current position. Um, I've been with the West Virginia Department of Commerce about 12 years, and I have been, uh, I have a background in workforce development, and uh, for the past six years I've been doing exclusively economic development. Um, it's a, uh, Jefferson County is a unique county, and I'm sure you all already know this, but you've got, you've got a great proximity to Washington, D.C., metro area. You've got a lot of people that know about Jefferson County from that from that region, but you've also got a strong sense of community. Um, you have some people that are very passionate here. I heard some of them in the in the road earlier. Um, <laughs> you have a uh, fantastic history, and it is a uh, it's a place that, that people come for vacation. Uh, it's a place that people come uh, when they want to get away from the hustle and bustle, but. You also have some well-respected educational institutions here with Shepherd University and with a and um, so you've got all this structure in place for for development. Um, one of the first things that I'd like to do, and we've are this was done several years ago, and I'm going to be doing some follow-up on that and try to pull up some old research. But um, I'd like to try to get a better idea of what your workforce looks like. About half of your workforce leaves Jefferson County every morning, comes back every evening, and what I'd like to do is get a better idea of who those people are, what their skill sets are, and figure out what we need to do to attract companies that will move to Jefferson County and hire those people so they can work and live here. And um, so I'd, I'd like to, to do a little research in that regard and try to do what we can to, to encourage that. Um, one of the other things that I want to do is certainly focus on existing companies. In my current position, I have worked with most of the industrial manufacturing companies in Jefferson County already and uh, know that the majority of your growth, of your job growth in any county, comes from your existing business. And so we'll certainly continue to, to focus on that and do everything we can to support those existing businesses. Uh, I'd also like to do a little research on what sites are available here and figure out where might be the best places to put different types of, of business. We'd like to, uh, to certify some sites for, for certain types of industry, and that's going to take some, some work, but we can, uh, I think we can get that, we can accomplish that pretty quickly. The, um, and of course, in everything that we do here, I think we need to, to remember you know, where we are and take a balanced approach so that we're supporting growth while we're sustaining the quality of life that, that is why so many people live in Jefferson County. And so uh, 
with that, I would, um, I would try to, and, and I say, all, I preface all this by saying I haven't met with the board yet, and so the board might have a different opinion of this, and so uh, that's, that's where we are, but um, I'd like to uh, focus on technology companies, uh, specialized manufacturing. We'd like to do what we can to support tourism. Obviously, that's a large industry in Jefferson County. We want to do everything we can to continue to and keep people here a little longer than a day trip, so I think it's a, I think it's a great for them to spend a weekend. Um, that is, that is really what I would like to, to look at coming in. Um, I'll be happy to, to entertain any questions or if you've got a, you know, anything, thoughts on, on what you'd like to see here. Well, I like your idea. I think, and I'm, you know, hopefully the board will. I can't imagine they wouldn't because of, uh, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to, to hear what you have to say and know that you're going to do an excellent job and I'm glad that you came in today to provide us with your, uh, your vision for the future you want to go. So uh, I think it's a great vision and move forward. Thank you very much. Thanks. I, I'm very interested in the, um, you doing the uh, survey you know, on employment and what people want to see here. That was done probably 10, 15 years ago, and I know uh, we've, we've changed since then, and probably our ne needs are even greater for local and local employment. Uh, so uh, I would I really support that effort, but I'm glad to have you in the driver's seat. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, and, and really with a, your unemployment rate right now is, of course, the lowest in the state. It's 2.8 percent. And so our, our, our new workers are going to need to come from within. So, Just to the, Jane, uh, Commissioner uh, Tab's point, this, this just, I, I grew up in the D.C. area, so I, I know there's a large portion of this area, for lack of a better term, working the system. And the governor, he always comes out here, you guys are doing it great in the panhandle and everything. There is no mention of what percentage are super commuters and the trade-offs as a result, less time with family, et cetera. There's never any mention of that. You guys are doing great, great unemployment rate, but 60% six, commute an hour and a half each way. Like there's never any mention of that. Right. So, and that, that's always been my concern about this area. If taxes and stuff start rising, there is gonna be a large chunk of people that are not gonna do that commute anymore. And that, I've always been worried about that. So, I mean, we need to find the fine line we're at. It's, it's hard to balance, I think. Yeah, and that's something that I, it, it's funny. I, when I moved here, of course, I knew really very little about the Eastern Panhandle, but very quickly I picked up on the fact that the people in, in the southern part of the state where I'm from and in, in the Charleston area really have no concept of the struggles here. And so that's, so I've been, anytime I go to Charleston, I, I <laughs> complain about those site types of things, and I'm going to continue to do that probably a little more loudly at this position. <laughs> yeah. All I can say is welcome aboard. I believe uh, <coughs> you transitioned finally out of uh, your current position to uh, uh, us uh, around the 20th of uh, November or thereabouts, and uh, can't can't wait to have you at the uh, at the helm. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to get started. Yep. Excited to have you, Nick. Good luck. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Can we take a break? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> we were scheduled.